So I have to ask you right off the bat, if you could be any Power Ranger, what color Power Ranger would you be and why? My favorite color is green. So, and you know, that's also not a fact that, that I do a Green Arrow podcast, but I do enjoy the color green. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. Um, it does help with my selection of favorite superheroes. So yeah, definitely Green Ranger. Watching the old school Power Rangers, the Go Green Ranger Go theme song. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? So obviously I would absolutely be the Green Ranger. Awesome. I think I'd have to go red. I don't yeah. know why. I just I I like the suit, the red suit for some it's reason. Bold generally saw as the leader until the Green Ranger came. So yeah, and I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, right on. So then uh, that kind of leads into the ne- to the next thing I was going to ask. What has your experience been watching this movie? And even going back to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, how many times have you seen this? I know you said you watched it as a kid. Yeah. What's what's been your experience? <laughs> so I have seen this movie quite a bit. Uh, I saw I saw the, the the original, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, more times. I you reached out to me and said, "Hey, I want to do this episode with you." And I was like, "This is great." And you said, "Hey, pick a movie." And I was like, "Okay." And then you showed me a list, you know, peeling back the curtains slightly here about movies that had already been taken. And so I was going through, and I was like, "Oh, I know Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. I I, I love that movie as a kid." And my story with it is that September eighteenth, nineteen ninety eight, was my tenth birthday, and I asked my mom. For Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie on VHS, and she came home with this. <laughs> ah, close enough. <laughs> it yeah. had only been out. It had been out for maybe what a year at that point, you know. Yeah. And so I, I watched this movie, and absolutely thought it was the coolest thing ever. I loved the cars. I loved the puppet, the, the puppet, <laughs> the giant costume puppet, and mm-hmm. more importantly, I loved the Blue Ranger being a small child becoming a grown man. Um, I know I made a joke about being tall, but I was a late bloomer. So I was a very small kid. <laughs> so uh, to see someone grow up to be a Power Ranger uh, really kind of hit me in the feels. And I wore that VHS out. But probably around, you know, high school age, I stopped watching it. I fell off Power Rangers entirely and hadn't seen it um, until I did it for this podcast. Mm. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> a little bit different this time around. I was a lot different 24 years ago. <laughs> I was too. No worries. <laughs> you know, and th- and honestly, this is my first time ever watching this movie. Oh my! Yeah, like I had how, seen. How did I'd you seen clips. this? Yeah, how did you escape I, this? I don't know. I don't know, man. Probably just me <laughs> rewatching Pixar Disney movies on on replay, just uh, like Lion King and Toy Story and all them. But I mean, I, I you know what? And I, t- I I will I will add. I was a huge Nickelodeon fan as a kid. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time watching like Fairly Odd Parents. Rocket okay. Power, you know, all those shows and stuff. But so maybe that's why. I don't know. But I mean, um, you your, know. your 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 taste, your 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 taste is definitely better. Don't worry. You didn't miss out. <laughs> okay. Uh Rocket Power, I would definitely if Rocket Power had a sequel, we'd be doing Rocket Power right now. I that show was amazing. I, I, yeah. I wish yeah. I'm I'm totally with you. <laughs> my kids um, call my wife a shoebie because of that show. Really? Yeah, because she wears socks with sandals because she's weird. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> So sometimes it's funny because I'll walk around the, my apartment with my wife and, and sometimes we'll like quote stuff and joke stuff and joke about stuff and whatever. And, and sometimes I'll actually like do some of like the voice impressions from that show, you know, like, nice. Hey, Tito, you know, or, you know, just, <laughs> just now oh, what's going it. on, brother. You know, I'm just, pretty sure it's on Power <laughs> Paramount Plus. I'm going to watch it now after this recording. Is it really? Oh, I, it has to be Nickel. All the Nickelodeon old stuff is on there. So well, I suppose the new iCarly show is on there, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. I was always the, I was also a Nickelodeon kid. So it's, it's exciting. I didn't have Cartoon Network growing up. I didn't watch Disney. Um, it was Nickelodeon. It was always Nickelodeon. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And and I will say like, and since we're on this topic, since like in recent years, like this past year, I recently started get, watching more like uh, Cartoon Network stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, my wife was really big into like Ed, Ed and Eddie and whatnot. But yeah. I started watching a show called Regular Show. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Now, for my lack of Cartoon Network, and I, I love this. This is we're doing everything we can to talk about Turbo right now. I know, <laughs> in my, right? In my, uh, in my, uh, you know, childhood of watching Nickelodeon, my kids are almost the polar opposite. They are straight Cartoon Network. So all those shows now, and you know, I, I, I think they, they're really good. Like my, my, my oldest daughter really has me sit down with her and watch a lot of these cartoons, and I'm kind of still blown away by them. It's good to still watch cartoons in your 30s, man. Don't be afraid of it. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I've been watching Futurama lately, and that's another good show, too. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, they actually predicted Omicron, or Omicron, however you say it. Wow. <laughs> there was actually, like, a villain from one of the first, like, first or second season. That that was the na- villain's name. 
Like, it's just like, yeah. Talk about, you know, like, uh, I, I forget the creator of that show's name, but he's the same guy who uh, created The Simpsons. Yeah. So, oh, like, man. he's really good at predicting the future, you know? Yeah, that's all The Simpsons does now. I, I'm pretty sure The Simpsons now is just trying to predict the future now. I don't think they're trying to make, like, you know, a show anymore. They're just like, we're going to make predictions, and then you can meme them out when they happen on Twitter. That, that, that's what my experience with The Simpsons have been recently. <laughs> well, when, when you have a show that's been around for 40 years, I mean, they have nothing better to do at this point. Yeah, yeah. You know? so if they haven't predicted at least one thing by now, they're doing it wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs>